Hello everyone. Today I'm going to read you another story about a beautiful young dog named Pink. Do you want to know his funny adventure at the Yangtze River? Come, let's read together with me. The story about Pink by Marjorie Flack. Once upon a time there was a beautiful young dog named Pink. Ping lived with his mother, his father, two sisters, three brothers, eleven aunts, seven uncles, and forty-two cousins. Their home was a boat with two wise eyes on the Yangtze River. Each morning, as the sun rose from the east, Ping and his mother and father, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncle, and his forty-two cousins all marched one by one down a little bridge to the shore of the Yangtze River. All day they would hunt for snails, little fishes, and other pleasant things to eat. But in the evening, as the sun set in the west, La 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 Lei would call the master of the boat. Quickly Ping and all his many family would come scurrying. Quickly they would march one by one, up over the little bridge and on to the wise-eyed boat, which was their home on the Yangtze River. Ping was always careful, very, very careful not to be the last, because the last duck to go across the bridge will always got a spank on the back. But one afternoon, as the shadow grew long, Ping did not hear the call. Because of that moment, Ping was wrong side up, trying to catch a little fish. By the time Ping was right side up, his mother, his father, and his aunt were already marching one by one, up over the bridge. By the time Ping neared the shore, his uncles, his cousins were marching over. And by the time Ping reached the shore, the last of his two forty-two cousins had crossed the bridge. Ping knew. He would be the last, the very last dog, if he crossed the bridge. Ping did not want to be spanked. So he hid. Ping hid behind the grasses. And as the dark came and the pale moon shone in the sky, Ping watched the wise-eyed boat slowly sail down the Yangtze River. And all night long, Ping slept near the grass on the bank of the river with his head tucked under the wing, and when the sun rose up, Ping would found he was all alone on the Yangtze River. There was no father, no mother, no sisters or brothers, no aunts, no uncles, no forty-two cousins to go fishing with. So Ping started out to find them, swimming down the yellow waters of the Yangtze River. As the sun rose higher in the sky, boats came, big boats, little boats, fishing boats, beggar boats, house boats, rough boats, and all these boats had eyes to see with. But nowhere could Ping see the wise-eyed boat which was his home. Then came a boat full of strange duck fishing birds. Ping saw them diving for fish for their master. As each bird brought a fish to his master, he would give it a little piece of fish for pay. Closer and closer swooped the fishing bird near Ping. Now Ping could see shining rings around their necks. Ring of metal made so tight, the birds could never swallow the big fish they were catching. Swoop, splash, splash, ring birds were dashing here and there all about Ping, so down he duck, swam under the yellow waters of the Yangtze River. When Ping came up to the top of the water, far away from the fishing birds, he found little crumbs, floating little rice cake crumbs, which made a path to a houseboat. As Ping ate these crumbs, he came nearer and nearer to the houseboat. Then, <gasps> no! Splash! There, 
There was a boy in the water, a little boy with a barrel on his back, which was tied to a rope from the boat, just all boat boys on the Yangtze River are tied to their boats. In the boy's hand was a rice cake. Woohoo! cried the little boy, and up dashing Pin snatched at the rice cake. Quickly the boy grabbed Pin and held him tight. Quack! 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 cried Pin. Oh no! No, no, no! yelled little boy. Pin and the boy made such a splashing and such a noise that the boy's father came running, the boy's mother came running, and the boy's sisters and brother came running. They all looked over the edge of the boat at Ping and the boy splashing in the water of the Yangtze River. Then the boy's father and mother pulled at the rope which was tied to the barrel on the little boy's back. They pulled and they pulled and came up Ping and the boy on the houseboat. Ah, a duck dinner has come to us, said the boy's father. I will cook him with rice at sunset tonight, said the boy's mother. No, no, my nice duck is too beautiful to eat, cried the boy. But down came a basket all of a ping, and he could see no more. Not the beautiful yellow water of the Yangtze River, not the sky, nor the boat. All day long, Ping could see only the thin lines of the sun which shone through the cracks in the basket, and Ping was very sad. After a long while, Ping heard the sound of oars and felt the jerk, jerk of the boat as it was rowed down the Yangtze River. Soon the lines of sunshine which came through the cracks of the basket turned rose color, and Ping knew the sun was setting in the west. Ping heard the footsteps coming near him. The basket was quickly lifted, and the little boy's hands were holding Ping. Quickly and quietly, the boy dropped Ping over the side of the boat and Ping slipped into the water, the beautiful yellow water of the Yangtze River. Then, Ping heard this call, La 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 Ping looked there. <gasps> Near the bank of the river was the wise-eyed boat, which was Ping's home. And Ping saw his mother, his father, his aunt, all marching one by one, up over the little bridge. Swiftly, Ping turned and swam, paddling toward the shore. Now Ping could see his uncle marching one by one. Paddle, paddle, Ping hurried toward the shore. Ping saw his cousins marching one by one. Paddle, paddle, Ping near the shore. Ping knew that he was late again. But up marching Ping, up over the little bridge, and spang came the spang on the Ping's back. Ouch. But then, at last, Ping was back with his mother, his father, and two sisters, three brothers, eleven aunts, and seven uncles, and forty-two cousins, home again on the wise-eyed boat of the Yangtze River. <laughs>